Hey what's up guys welcome back to Core Gadget Reviews and in this video I'm going to install some RAM and the new uh, Samsung 980 Pro uh, NVMe which has read speed of 7000 megabytes a second and this is a PCIe 4.0 version and it is two times faster than the 3.0 version and it is 12 times faster than your standard SATA SSD so I'm going to be installing this in my new Tough Gaming B550M Plus motherboard um, so this is what we're going to do in this video so next I'm just gonna uh, screw in the nut that holds down the NVMe SSD so you should get these with your motherboard uh, it's a screw and a nut so first one you gotta screw the nut into place so for some reason I've drifted off and started to install the RAM first so as you know I got this Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB uh, RAM memory which can run at uh, 3200 megahertz so I got two which are um, 8 gigabyte each so in total I'm going to be installing 16 gig um, bear in mind this motherboard can handle up to 128 gigabytes of RAM so I'm just going to quickly install this first and then go back to the NVMe so just bear with me for a second and uh, I've already done a review on this motherboard um, I'll put the link to that video in the description box or you'll be at the end of this video so yeah they clipped in nicely um, using dual channel so I think I don't need slot 1 and slot 3 so we're just gonna put the, the nut on first so just screw that into place and then we have our PCI 4.0 Samsung 980 Pro you can clearly see that and this M.2 on this motherboard is PCI 4.0 so make sure it goes in that way I mean you can't get it, can't get it wrong anyway you're only going to fit it in one way so and now you get that screw that little screw I had earlier which is gonna screw into that nut you screwed in earlier <laughs> and that's gonna hold it down because as you can see now it's kind of sticking up uh, the NVMe so that screw is gonna hold it down just like that it is a little bit fidgety because it's kind of small but um, you know you can do it just take your time it's pretty easy and once that is screwed down and that's not gonna go anywhere and like I said the read speed on this is 7,000 megabytes per second so Windows should boot up in 10 seconds or probably less than that so I will do a video on that once I've got all this PC built up because right now I'm still deciding uh, which uh, CPU to go for guys so if you guys got any suggestions um, which CPU I should choose uh, comment below in the comment section below and um, give me some ideas and also um, if this video was helpful uh, smash that like button and um, comment below if you got any questions and also if you're new to my channel uh, please consider subscribing as I got some more awesome content coming out and as always guys thank you so much for watching